I, uh, my name is Kemlin, and I'm the executive director at the Daniel McIntyre St. Matthews Community Association. Well, we're having our ninth annual Summerfest, which is very exciting. It's got, we've got all sorts of games, like a, um, a bouncy castle. Well, it's not a castle, actually a slide. Uh, we had hot dogs, <laughs> but we're sold out of those. Um, they were free, that's right. Uh, we've got uh, three different bands playing and a DJ in between. Henna, henna tattoos. Um, and most of the people that are doing them are either people that are local, so people that are either local or, um, you know, they have little small businesses. So we've got someone doing henna tattoos. We've also got someone making, um, doing face painting on kids. Uh, we also have someone doing uh, balloon animals. Um, we've got a bunch of other different sort of games people can play. Mm -hmm. We've got a great raffle for, um, we've got three different bikes, two adults and one child's bike. People can um, get in a raffle to win those, uh, which is, which were done by the refur refurbished bikes by the Bike Cage, uh, which is a, um, one of our groups. So lots of fun stuff. And we're here in the Jacob Penner Park, actually, which is great, which is um, our largest park in our neighborhood. I think stuff like this is it's great to have it in your neighborhood, um, somewhere where you can walk to or ride to, especially in a neighborhood like this, where you know we're an inner city neighborhood that has um, a lower income neighborhood. People don't, you know, most people that live in our neighborhood don't have cabins to go to in the summer. They don't, um, you know, they can't afford to take their kids out somewhere like, um, Tinkertown or something, right? Um, and so what that means is, uh, like poverty is usually not, it's not about just not having money, it's about also not having access to resources and access to things. So uh, you feel you get left out, right? Um, and so this sort, of, uh, this sort of community event is along the lines of a lot of stuff we do, which is to give people access to things, right? So, um, a fair for kids to do during the summer that you can take your you can take your kids to as a family, or you can also you know if they live close by, a kid can just come over here because it's in a park, right? It's um, in their neighborhood. They don't have to cross any big streets, and they can. It's you know a safe environment where they can come and they can enjoy a bunch of stuff for free. A, I, I just love seeing the diversity of people. That's one thing about. I mean, we see this across pretty much all of our events, but. We live in one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the province, actually. And you see people from all sorts of different backgrounds here, all sorts of different languages. Uh, and I think that's great, right? And they're, they're having fun and doing things together. Um, and we also try and <clears throat> have a, a diverse group of um, organizations or people that participate in it as well so like we have some Métis dancers who are one of the bands right so things like that we also had um, uh, an Aboriginal drum group a women's drum group that was the part of our opening piece right I think that's great right and, and just really um, as a neighborhood that's one of our assets is the diversity of it and you see it reflected in this in a lot of different things I think it's great we're about to be starting our 10th year um, and uh, I just yeah before I think the community association was around stuff like this wasn't available in the community for people um, and I think it's just really we, we really need to celebrate the fact that this is nine years we've been able to do this right yeah. nine years we've been able to bring the community together and and for for stuff like this and I think that's great